So uh, we we'll talk about this harmony in the family, which is the basic unit of human interaction. So if you look at the overall scheme of our thing, <clears throat> what we are talking about is this you know, basic human inspiration, and how this basic human inspiration can be fulfilled. So we identified this basic human aspiration as happiness, prosperity, and its continuity. And then we defined that happiness is to be in harmony, and therefore our program for ensuring continuity of happiness is to understand the harmony and live in harmony at all levels of our being. So wherever we are, you know, whatever state we are in. Whatever level we are, you know, working with, we have to be in harmony. So we have to understand the harmony there, and we have to be in harmony there. And if we can ensure this, then I can be in a state of harmony and happiness every moment. So this is the source of continuity of happiness. And then we identified that there are four levels, broadly speaking. You know, so we are living as an individual, as a human being. As a member of the family, as a member of the society, and as a member of the as a unit of the nature and existence, and therefore <clears throat> we need to understand the harmony at all these levels and be in harmony at all these levels. Then we'll be in a state of harmony and happiness within and with the world outside, and this will ensure my being in a state of continuous happiness. And then we said that this. Whole understanding, you know, of harmony at all levels can be done through the process of self-exploration. Okay, and which has two parts. One is verifying the proposals on the basis of our natural acceptance, and if it passes through this process of natural acceptance, then we verify it in terms of our experience. And this experiential validation can be done in terms of either my, you know, working with am I behaving with human being, or working with the rest of nature, and if that leads to mutual fulfillment, that it is a right proposal. Otherwise, it is not a right proposal. So through this process of self-exploration, we are trying to investigate into this harmony one by one. Till now, we have. Looked into this harmony in human being, and in the process of looking into harmony in human being, we first try to look into human being as coexistence of self and body. Then we looked into harmony in the self. Then we looked into the harmony of the self with the body. So this is what broadly we have discussed till now. So we have some understanding of this harmony in human being. <clears throat> and we can see now that this understanding makes a lot of difference a lot of this difference in way of our looking at the you know our self our way of looking at the world our way of looking at our purpose and its fulfillment so all that we have seen now with this clarity we can investigate into this harmony in the family in fact most of our time is spent you know in Our living in relationship in the family, whether this relationship is fulfilling or not fulfilling, but we are there most of the time, you know, working for it. So now let's look at this harmony in the family. So for next six lectures, we will delve deeper into it because it is one of the most important, you know, part of our engagement. <coughs> And our living. So, if you look at the, if you look at the family, this family is the basic unit okay, or building block of human enterprise, human organization. Right? So, all this organization that we see, which is you know kind of uh, articulated and you know lived with by human being, this family is the You know, basic building block, the basic unit.
So we will try to look into this. When we look into the family, the major issue in the family is relationship and fulfillment in relationship. This is very important. In fact, if you scan through what you have done in your family and you are doing in your family, what is the major issue? Just scan through it and you will be able to realize. The major issue has been relationship and fulfillment in relationship. Is that true or not? <clears throat> in fact, we had asked this question, you know, in the first session itself that unhappiness in your family is more due to lack of physical facility or more due to lack of fulfillment in relationship. And you must have been thinking from there, you know. And you must have found that it is mostly the lack of fulfillment in relationship. So even if we have a lot of physical facility, We have accumulated far more than what we would ever need. Right? Even then, there may be problem in the family because of lack of understanding of this relationship, lack of fulfillment of this relationship. Right? So I keep saying that you know, even people with lakhs and crores of rupees of asset, you know, they may still be fighting in the family. You know. There may be fight among the brothers, among the parents and the sons. So this is quite possible and we keep seeing these examples all around. So we don't have to look for any specific example. But yes, it is going on. People having a set worth of lakhs of crores, you know, not one or two crores lakhs of crores, which is almost equitable to the GDP of India. Even they are fighting among themselves. So this issue in the family, the major issue is that of relationship and fulfillment in relationship. So this is the second important point we are making. And third important point that we are making here is that for fulfillment in relationship, the major issue is not the physical facility. Of course, physical facility is required, but that cannot be the basis of fulfillment in relationship in continuity. What can be the basis of fulfillment in relationship in continuity is the understanding of relationship. So this is quite interesting you know, that what we need for ensuring the continuity of fulfillment in relationship is the understanding of relationship. And that's it. If we have this understanding of relationship, we can have the acceptance for relationship. We can have the feelings in relationship in continuity. And therefore, we can ensure fulfillment in relationship right. within myself first and then with others. So this is important. And the major concern of this whole section of harmony in the family would be essentially this right. understanding of relationship leading to acceptance of relationship leading to having the feeling, the right feelings, the natural feelings in relationship and ultimately leading to fulfillment in relationship. Right? So with 
clarity of relationship, understanding of relationship, I will have an unconditional acceptance for relationship. And once I have this unconditional acceptance for relationship, I will have these feelings, feelings of trust, respect, affection, ultimately the feeling of love <clears throat> with every human being, right? Unconditional feeling. And if I have this unconditional feeling in me, I will be in a state of harmony and happiness within. And this is what I will express with others. So that will create, create the basis for my fulfillment and fulfillment in relationship. So this is what we will see in detail as we go along. On the other hand, if we have not understood the relationship, right, then we will not have this acceptance for relationship. Right? And we will not have those unconditional feelings in relationship. And therefore, there is no possibility of fulfillment in relationship. And we end up doing all these things, you know, not speaking for each other for this, having the opposition, having divorce. So ultimately, we feel that we are you know, just intolerable to be with the other. So we apply for divorce, but not something really worth. And that we think is the right right to divorce. In fact, the way I look at divorce is that if <clears throat> I'm not able to fulfill my relationship you know, with my spouse, <clears throat> then I have to work for understanding the relationship and fulfillment of relationship. If I am taking to divorce, I am in fact closing all the possibility. I have accepted the defeat that yes, there is no possibility of fulfillment in relationship. But anyway, we will see this. So the essential point that we are going to make in this whole section is these three things. You know, number one, the family is the basic unit of human organization. Number two, in family, what is major is the relationship. And when it comes to relationship, what is important is understanding of relationship. Only then we will develop the competence to fulfill the relationship. So with this basic background, let us look into relationship. Look at the family, you know, and relationship in the family. <clears throat> so when we look at this relationship, try to understand it, we can see there are four aspects right, which we have to understand. So these are the four aspects. Number one, we have to see that relationship is there, not that we have to make relationship. And this relationship is between oneself and the other self. Right. This is one important thing. Second is that if you look at this relationship, there are feelings in relationship. So what is fundamental to relationship is the feeling, which we have been you know, talking about, not very directly, but yes, different differences have come. That what is important in relationship is the feeling, the feeling of trust, feeling of respect, you know, feeling of affection, and so on. And this feeling is one self for the other self. So this is important. That what makes difference in relationship is the feeling. Right? And with these feelings, we can see that the role of physical facility is to support this feeling, to express these feelings. That we will see as we go along. So there are feelings in relationship in oneself for the other self. So this feeling of respect, for example, is in me, myself, <clears throat> for you, for yourself. Third is that these feelings can be recognized. Right? They are definite feelings. And we will recognize them as nine feelings in the process. 
So they can be identified. We can identify whether the feeling of respect is what is naturally acceptable or feeling of disrespect is what is naturally acceptable. So that identification can be made. They are definite. And the fourth thing is that if we ensure the fulfillment of these feelings, right, then it leads to my happiness as well as happiness of the other. So these are the four aspects which we have to understand when we try to understand the relationship. So what we will do is we will try to look into this, each of these aspects one by one. So let us begin with the first one, that the relationship is there. It is between oneself and the other self. So there are two important statements here. Number one, relationship is. Right? This relationship is already there, not that we have to make relationship. <coughs> so there is relationship between one human being and the other human being. There is relationship between one unit and the other unit. So that is how the whole nature is. That is how the whole existence is. That the units are there and units are in relationship. We as human beings are also in relationship. So not that we have to make relationship. Relationship is there. We have to understand the relationship and accept the relationship. This is one important thing. Second thing is that if we look at this relationship with, among human beings, of course it is a relationship between one human being and the other human being. Right? <clears throat> but when we look at the human being and look at this relationship, we can ask this question to ourselves. Right? Who is recognizing the relationship? the self or the body. Similarly, you can find out who is the fe having feelings in relationship, the self or the body. So while there is relationship between one human being and another human being, the one who is able to recognize the one who is having the feelings in relationship is the self. Right. So look into this. You know, this may be a very new statement for you, but very important statement. That when we are recognizing this relationship, who is recognizing the relationship? When we are having this feeling in relationship, which is central to relationship, who is having the feeling, the self or the body? So if you look at this, you will realize that it is the self who is recognizing the relationship and who is having the feeling in relationship. So in that sense, we are saying that this relationship is between oneself and the other self. Or you can say that when it comes to relationship, the self is playing the central role. Right. And in the process, the body is used as an instrument as and when necessary. As and when necessary. This is very important. This is very important that <clears throat> this acceptance of relationship, the feeling of relationship is in this self, is in one self or the other self. And that can be in continuity. On the other hand, when you try to express this feeling with the other, you use the body as an instrument, as and when necessary. Not always. So I may have this feeling of respect for you all the time in me, but I do not go about expressing it, right? All the time. So whenever I meet you, I express my feeling of respect for you by way of shaking hand or by way of touching your feet or by way of giving blessings, right? Whatever with the accepted norms in the society or in the family to express that particular feeling. So I will use the body as an instrument to express my feeling of respect as and when I feel necessary, as and when required. 
So this is a very important thing to understand that the feeling is there in continuum in this self or can be there in continuum, you know, in this self in continuum. But the expression of this feeling can be done through the body as and when required. And that is not something which is done in continuum. And in fact, if you try to do it in continuum, then it may create more problem. So if I meet you and with all my warm, you know, I shake my hand with you and I keep holding your hand, you know, and shaking it. After a few minutes, it will become intolerable. So, the body is used as an instrument by both of us in the process of sharing my feeling, which is there in the self, in myself, right, for you, and which is which may be in continuum. It can be continuous. This feeling of respect can be there in me continuously. <clears throat> so this is important thing. Number one is relationship is there. We don't have to make that relationship. We have to understand that relationship. Number one and number two, we have to see that this feeling is in oneself for the other self. So the relationship is between oneself and the other self, basically. So this point which I've already made, you know, this we are related to each other, whether we understand it or not. The relationship is already there. We only need to understand it. Yes. <clears throat> so when we understand relationship, we are able to see that relationship is there. We are able to accept the relationship and think in terms of fulfilling the relationship. So this is what we were saying in the beginning, that relationship is already there, but we need to understand it. Only when we, need, when we understand the relationship, we are able to accept and fulfill the relationship. If we don't understand the relationship, right, the relationship is still there by virtue of the design of the nature, by virtue of design of the existence, right? But we are not able to see the relationship. And therefore, we are not able to accept the relationship. So this is the crisis we are facing today. That if we look at the education today, we are not helping the children to understand the relationship. When they are not able to understand the relationship, they are not able to see the relationship. When they are not able to see the relationship is there by virtue of the design of nature, then they are not able to accept the relationship. And therefore, we are able to, we are not able to fulfill the relationship. So today, there is increasing crisis of this, you know, the whole generation not able to kind of accept the relationship and fulfill the relationship. But this is because we do not understand the relationship. And this is because this understanding of relationship is not the part of education at all. So more you are educated, you are more intolerant you become. So now we have so many old days home, you know, and growing in number. Because this youth, this young, you know, <coughs> couple are not willing to keep their parents with them. Because they have not been able to understand relationship and therefore see relationship and therefore accept relationship. And therefore, they are not willing to fulfill relationship because they don't even see that the relationship is there. So now you have to come up with more and more old days home. So more cursed and more old days home. So this is what we have to understand that this understanding of relationship, acceptance of relationship has to be an integral part of education and one of the most basic content of education. Otherwise, we'll face the problem that we are facing. Already the divorce rate is increasing. 
yeah, in the cities, particularly more developed people, more educated people, more problems are diverse. Yes. So this is number one. The relationship is there and it is between oneself and the other self. And this is what we have to understand. The second thing is that <clears throat> when we look at relationship, what is of significance or the most significance is the you know feelings in relationship. So we are saying that the core thing in relationship is basically the feeling. The feelings we have in relationship is the core thing, you know, is the most important thing. And these feelings are in oneself, right? For the other self. So the feelings are in one in the self and not in the body. This we have to check, you know, that we have to investigate because till now we think that everything is body. So the feelings are in the body. Thinking is also in the body. Everything is in the body. In fact, we had many questions on this when we are talking about human being. Right. So if self is not there and if you don't understand the self, then we have to explain everything in terms of body. But find out whether this feeling is in the self or in the body. Now we can understand these feelings only when we understand the self, because these feelings are in the self. So unless we understand the self, we cannot understand the feelings in the self. And this has been the crisis. Right. This has been the crisis. That because we have not been able to understand that the self is there, self in coexistence with the body is there and this is how the human being is. Therefore, we are not able to understand the feelings in the self. And therefore, we are not able to understand the feeling in relationship. So what I was saying is that these feelings <coughs> are important in relationship. And these feelings are in the self and not in the body. Right? So in order to understand the relationship, we have to understand this feeling. In order to understand feelings, we have to understand the self. And because today, in whole scheme of our education, we do not have this placement for the self. So we don't understand the self and therefore we don't understand the feelings in the self. And therefore we do not understand the relationship. And when we don't understand it, we do not have the acceptance for it. And then all other problems follow. <clears throat> so essentially we have to understand the self. And we have to understand the feelings in the self. Then we can understand the relationship. Then we can accept the relationship. Then we can have these feelings in relationship. And once we have this feeling in relationship, we can ensure the fulfillment of these feelings in relationship. So this is the second thing that we have been talking about. You know, The third important thing is that these feelings are definite. Definite in the sense that when we try to look into these feelings, we can identify these feelings with definiteness. So they are not vague. They are not undefined as we think. So they are real, tangible thing, you know, these feelings. And therefore, we can recognize them. They are definite. This is what we mean when we say that the feelings are definite. So it is not the issue of numbers. It is an issue of these feelings being definite, being tangible, being something very concrete. 
so for example if you ask yourself what will be the what will be naturally acceptable to you the feeling of respect or disrespect so we can concretely you know talk about it yes it is the feeling of respect which is naturally acceptable and not the feeling of disrespect so this is something very meaningful for me something very concrete for me something we can which i can see and decide so in that sense we are saying that the feelings are definite and when you go about recognizing these feelings they can be recognized in the form of these nine feelings they can be recognized in the form of these nine feelings but what is important here is that these feelings are definite they can be recognized they can be identified you know we can decide whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me so it is not something undefined not something you know vague it is something definite something definite something real we can hold on to it so this is the third thing the fourth thing is that when we understand this relationship and we ensure this feelings in the relationship right then this needs to mutual this leads to mutual happiness mutual fulfillment so if i understand the feeling i understand the relationship and i accept the relationship and then i have these feelings in relationship then i can share these feelings in relationship with the other so when i have this feeling in relationship i am in a state of harmony and happiness within and when i share this feeling with the other because this feeling is naturally acceptable to the other also it leads to a state of harmony and happiness in the other as well so it leads to his happiness as well so my having this feeling which is natural to me the feeling of respect for example you know makes me to be in harmony and happiness within and when i share this feeling with the other right because it is naturally acceptable to the other also it gives happiness to the other so it leads to my happiness and the happiness of the other so ultimately it leads to mutual happiness it leads to mutual happiness so all put together these are the four aspects which are important in understanding the relationship number one relationship is there between one self and the other self number two there are feelings in relationship in one self for the other self number three these feelings are definite they can be identified right? they are real tangible <coughs> and the fourth thing is that when we have these feelings in us we can share this feeling with others and this leads to my happiness as well as the happiness of the other so it leads to mutual happiness it leads to mutual fulfillment so these are the four things that you know are important when it comes to understanding the relationship so this is what we have talked about in essence that you know when we talk about harmony in family it has to do with relationship and when we talk about relationship right these are the four aspects that we have to understand you know by way of exploring within and when we explore we find that these are the feelings which we can talk about you know this feeling of love you know feeling of trust respect affection care guidance and so on ultimately the feeling of love in which this trust is the foundation value and this love is the complete value so we start with the trust and move up to this love which is the complete value 
So start with the trust. In that sense, it is the foundation value. And it has to be at the base of relationship. And the ultimate, you know, achievement is in terms of having this feeling of love. So we'll talk about these nine feelings as we go on. <clears throat> but these are the four you know, important aspects when it comes to understanding the relationship in the family. And on the right side, you can see, you know, we have to have the right understanding, you know, understanding of relationship, which will lead to right feelings. And when we have the right feelings, it will lead to fulfillment in relationship in terms of mutual happiness. And this will result into harmony in the family. <clears throat> So with this background, okay, we will proceed to explore into these feelings one by one.